Kerry, congratulations on this show. Thank Every you. episode takes you in a different direction, but it also deals with highly controversial topics, teen pregnancy, um, abortion, so many things. Was that a reason that you wanted to produce it? And were you at all hesitant that it might turn some people off? Uh, it's a great question. I, I mean, I wasn't drawn to the material because I thought it would be controversial, but I was drawn to the material because I thought it was complex, and human beings are complex. Um, we we tend to think of mothers as um, good mothers or bad mothers, right? We don't we don't haven't had a lot of, of great cinematic storytelling that dives into the complexity of what it means to be a mom and to raise kids and um, the challenges and the rewards and, and all of the nuances and that can involve teen sex and it could evolve abortion, involve abortion and it involves class and race and gender and um, all of these complicated issues but, but I wasn't drawn to it because I thought like oh this will be um, challenging for people, but I thought, oh, this people will relate to this. This is this is what real people deal with. One of the things I related to was being a new mum with a crying baby mm. and not being able to pacify it yeah. and just being exhausted. Yeah. And we often think of people of privilege not going through those same universal experiences. You are a woman of privilege. Um, was that something that resonated with you for those mums out there? Was there ever something that you went through like that? Absolutely. I mean, I think one of the things that is so important about the show is that you realize that everybody struggles, and they struggle over different things. You know, one character is struggling because she's wrought over her college essay application process. Another character is struggling because she can't conceive. Another character is struggling because she conceived but she doesn't have the economic wherewithal to provide for her child. Everybody is struggling and it's very easy to stand on the outside and judge a person for their choices and their lifestyle but if we all take the time to peek behind the curtain we really see that we're more similar than we are different and, um, and that there's reason to really feel for each other and be there for each other. One of the things that I loved is that it tackled topics from both sides, mm -hmm. so that it maybe opened a door for mm -hmm. a way for you to look at things. You fall into a group that um, a lot of people discriminate against, both as a woman and as a woman of color. Often the voices are suppressed. You have a strong voice that we've listened <laughs> to for a long time. Mm -hmm. Was there a moment that you can identify that gave you the courage to step up and say, this is me. You know, I think it's actually, I think it happens incrementally. I think that when you practice using your voice, you see how good it feels and it encourages you to continue to use your voice. And I say that because I think it's very easy to kind of be a woman or a person of color and sit at home and wait for somebody to give you permission or some sort of pivotal moment to say like, oh, this is my moment to shine. But I think actually those everyday interactions, when you honor your inner voice by expressing your instinct out loud, when you let yourself be your authentic self in the world and don't let the world silence you, the more you do it, the better it feels, the more you do it. Right? It becomes a cycle. It's really important to know that, that if you feel like you don't know how to use your voice, just do it. And you'll realize that you do know how to use your voice and then you'll get better and better at, better at it the more you do it. I love that aspect of it. Um, she's also an artist, mm -hmm. uh, compelled really to work. You are obviously an actress who produces so many things. Is there something outside of those areas that you're compelled to do when you are at home? I actually learned to take photographs for this character. Um, I worked with a private coach and I spent time in the dark room and I spent time with some artists who I adore who use a lot of photography, Lorna Simpson and Alexandra Hedison. So um, I really tried to get inside the mind of being an artist by practicing the art that Mia practices and that's been a real joy. Uh, it, it's wonderful watching for a woman um, and just a general audience. Thank, Thank you. you so much for doing Thank this. Thank you.